Welcome back to the School Calisthenics. It is Jacko and we're here with Sam Oldham because he wants to learn how to do the human flag. So welcome Sam Oldham, GB gymnast. I've watched this guy on telly at London 2012. Um, phenomenal gymnast, an athlete. Um, never tried the human flag, is that never, right? Never before, never tried it, yeah. Which, seen it. Seen it on videos, seen it on TV, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but never actually given it a go. So what we what I was just couldn't give up this opportunity to show you guys when we learned this. Remember, we had no gymnastics experience whatsoever, and it took us months to learn. We're going to show you. Hopefully, we haven't even tried it yet. We're going to show you. Hopefully, if you take someone like Sam, who's got the strength, got the stability, got the flexibility in the shoulders, what they can actually learn in the shortest amount of time. So let's have a go. No. Right. So you've got these in the gym. I call these human flag rack right yeah <laughs> but you don't do what the, what the hell do you do what do you use these for? Uh, so like the is? little kids do like um you see this like gap here they yeah. hold higher up and do like leg lifts and stuff okay. and yeah. you need to start using these i think it just makes flags. the place look good i never really see anyone use it to be honest but we're going to make good use of them today so before we get going we want to see with absolutely no coaching or anything where sam is at if he tries to do human flag so you've had no help from us yet so if i've <laughs> yeah. literally just walked in through the door Let's see where you're at, and then we can take it from there. Right, so just wait. <laughs> Do you want me to face that way? Or? You face whichever oh, way you think is most. I feel like this way. Let me go that way. That's all right. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. So you can see somebody that's got some um, an amazing foundation of strength, what they can do without any help at all. So let's just clean that up a little bit. Um, we were swinging about a little yeah. bit, so that's like hand placement, how far uh, the, the, the top hand needs to be directly above uh, the bottom arm. You've got the mechanics right of the push-pull. So the top arm is pulling and the bottom arm, I'm gonna go one up. Top arm is pulling and I'm trying to pull with a straight arm. So we're trying to do an active position. So I'm gonna keep the arm straight rather than letting bicep do it. We're going to get these mid-lower traps, trying to sort of suck that shoulder down okay. into the socket. That then allows us to pull the hip on that side up towards the shoulder. If this is slack and we're having to pull with bicep, we lose that connection. Right, okay. So there's like three main things. Top arm pulling, bottom arm pushing, we've got that. We just need to make those two arms straight. Yeah. And then if we suck that top arm down, I'll give you an exercise to do in a second for that. We then find it easier to connect the, uh, sh the, the hip up to that shoulder. So I'm trying to make sure hands are directly above each other so they don't so I don't swing. That was one thing. Now I'm gonna suck that shoulder in. Oh nice. That's how the pros do it. So we're gonna look into like a bit of applied, what we call applied strength and, and movement patterning where you've got the general gist of it and the, and the base strength and stability in the shoulders as well as the flexibility to create that overhead um, position. We'd expect nothing less from a gymnast. Yeah. Um, but we're just gonna go back a stage just to give ourselves the, the opportunity, the brain, just to learn and feel the movement in a slightly less demanding in terms of strength yeah. exercise. Make that connection between top arm pulling, bottom arm pushing, and when that shot, top shoulder is sucking itself, like pulling down actively, sucking into the socket, we can get the hip up to that shoulder. And then, well, I'm pretty certain after like three, four minutes, we'll golden and go back right. over to the bar. So we, this is what we call the angle flag. So, this is for someone that's just starting out, they might want to take them a few weeks or so to build up to this, but you, yeah. you're already there. So um, rather than me being putting my hands directly on the vertical pole, if I take my hand out to the side, I'm not going to be able to get myself fully horizontal, but I'm going to be like at a 45 degree oh, angle. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm not fighting gravity um, in that horizontal position fully. Uh, it, it's a much easier position in terms of strength, but you're going to be able to create a nice straight line you'll be able to get that um, top arm super straight and just work focus on yeah. sucking that shoulder in. So, um, top arm is gonna go um, off from the, the side, bottom arm push in, and then I'm gonna suck that shoulder down and then I'm gonna push with this bottom arm and squeeze this hip towards the shoulder. So I'm gonna suck him in first, like a single arm active hang yeah. suck him in, push with the bottom arm and squeeze the hip up towards the shoulder. That's right. what moves the legs and oh. squeezing the hip towards Gets the shoulder. The legs up. Yeah. You don't actually, you're not trying to move your legs right, up, they okay. come with the hip. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So just get this, get this like sucking action first of that single arm sort of action. So I just want you to drive, draw this shoulder blade down, that's it. And then you push away and squeeze this towards that. Nice. Cool. 
drive. Probably this one, this one. You feel that through that top arm? Yeah. Trying to suck him down. So we're trying to drive this shoulder down yeah. towards the opposite hip. Yeah. Oh. Top arm, that's it. So this down towards that, and then squeeze that to the side. Good. Golden. That is an angle flag. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Jacko, is it? Do I, my arms need to be a certain kind of width for? Yeah. Like if you, if you're too wide or too narrow, that's going to make it make it more difficult. So there's a sweet spot. We there is a video we did where we like, like measured yeah. our wingspan. Yeah. So fingertip to fingertip to try and then give us a, something to relate to. I'm sl my arms are slightly longer than yours, so I'm going to have a slightly wider thing. It just right, depends yeah, whether yeah. you go a complete wrong. So I was in here. Yeah. So it's whether you can go. Whether you, did you have that? Did you have your hand on that top one? Uh, no, I think I went there yeah, first. But, but you go where you were the first time yeah. on there. I think I'll leave that, like that maybe. Yeah, yeah, that'll be you. But then, so make sure to stop that swing. If, yeah, if one hand right. is on top, you need to be directly vertical, line. directly on top right, of it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll support your legs. Leave. I'm going to support his legs. Let him feel the whole position. Make sure we take exactly what you did over on with that angle flag. Yeah. And then I know you've got the strength. I'm just going to let you go. Okay. okay. So, push chest through. Come back down, come back down. I want you to get your whole body. So if my hands are here, I can't afford to have my chest back here. Right, okay. I need to get myself through. Right, yeah, yeah. There, so when I said push your chest through, you yeah, need to open yeah, yeah. those shoulders up. Think about like, think about a wide handstand, how you right, actually okay. get your chest through. That's better, that's better. Yeah. And then push away. Suck that top arm in. Hold, 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 hold. Suck here in. Nice. This is nice, a much nicer position. Right, okay. We need to crank that top arm, that Pull hip, that top, arm. That, that top arm down and that hip towards that, that top arm. And that's better. Got it, got it, got it. There we go. That's the one. Easy. Uh, all day. Oh, that's <laughs> better now. You put me in there. <laughs> that first time it felt like way different to that just because you put me in you got to be in the correct position and using my shoulders in the right way. Yeah. So I think yeah. you opened. We're getting on that plane. Yeah. yeah. You open that bottom shoulder up, and it's like literally. I probably should have said it to you before because you're going to know what a handstand is. Like it's literally a handstand, but on your side. Yeah. I was a little bit worried because I thought it was going to be better. Be, that yeah, last one, you yeah. were like, you you didn't open that bottom yeah. shoulder up, and then that one then. I'd say it's better than mine. <laughs> it just shows you if you build up a solid foundation of strength, stability and flexibility that Sam's done through years and years of gymnastics, if you know the right techniques and you give yourself the opportunity and the brain the opportunity to learn that, you can learn it. He's managed to learn it in five, ten minutes. That's not going to be normal. It took us months because we went from absolutely no uh, base knowledge of this whatsoever. Um, but it does just show you if you build up that, spend some time building up your base foundation of strength and stability, you can do impossible things. So until next week. Class dismissed. <laughs> so if you want to see whether Sam can squeeze the human flag, his new trick that he's learned into one of his routines and see what the gymnastics community thinks of it, make sure you check him out on YouTube and on his Instagram. They're in the description below.